There's so much information out there about setting goals. Today I'm going to switch it up and give you some things you can do to follow through and achieve your goals. Welcome back and congratulations on taking one more step towards becoming one of the great leaders of tomorrow. If you're watching this, you've probably set a goal or two for yourself lately. Today I'm going to give you four tips on how to follow through and smash through those goals so you can achieve them and move on to even bigger and better things. And stay tuned to the end, I'm going to give you a link where you can download the goal tracking spreadsheet I use in this video. And as a bonus, you can also download our free leadership development plan workbook. And that will help you set your goals for the next 2, 5, and 10 years and make a plan to achieve all those goals you've got for your career. One of the really cool things that happens as we grow as leaders is that we start to set goals for ourselves and for our team. And this can be a little bit of a learning experience because once we start becoming the one who sets the goals, we don't have anyone checking up on us or chasing us to make sure those goals are followed through on and achieved. I ran into this in the Air Force as I started to grow in more responsibility and have more people working for me in the Air Force. They were looking to me for guidance on how to go achieve what they were working on, and I was the one setting the goals and trying to organize everyone to go achieve those goals, and no one was really chasing or checking up on me to do that. I also ran into that when I was starting my own business, and I had this goal to write this business plan and get it done, but it, no one else was looking for it. It was just something I thought was a good idea to do, so I had to figure out a way to get that business plan done without anyone chasing me or checking up on me. So today I'm going to give you four tips. Once you've got your goals set, once you've got an idea of what you want to go achieve, these four tips are going to help you follow through, build some tools and systems, and get to those goals, achieve them, and smash right through them so you can go on to even bigger and better things. So tip one is just a little bit of a review, and that's to have well-written goals. And when I talk with people about setting their goals and writing their goals down, I like to make sure they have three things, that they're clear, they're measurable, and achievable. And I won't go into all the details of what that means. I've got another video that I did a long, long time ago. So you can go watch that to get really the details on what clear, measurable, and achievable mean. But don't laugh at, don't laugh at my video. It's one of the very first ones I did. So please go watch the video, but please be kind as well. Uh, and there's a lot of different things out there. People talk about SMART goals and all kinds of other methods to achieve goals. But I like the idea of clear, measurable, achievable. It's simple. It's easy to remember. And if you've made your goals clear, measurable, and achievable, it'll help as you start to build tools and systems and start to track your goals, which are some of the key components of achieving them. Next, you've got to build tools and systems that are, that are going to help you achieve that goal. In the case of my business plan a couple of years ago when I was writing that, if I had just said, well, I'm going to work on the business plan whenever I feel like working on it or when I, you know, whenever I have time, it probably never would have gotten done. So I built a little system for myself. I made a little contract with myself where I said, okay, every night after dinner, after dinner I like to have a cup of coffee at night if it's not too late. Every night after dinner when I have my cup of coffee, I'm going to make my cup of coffee, I'm going to go take it upstairs to the office, and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to work on the business plan for an hour. It doesn't matter how much I get done. It doesn't matter if any of that work was productive. It doesn't matter if I decide I'm going to throw that all out the next night when I work on it. But that was this contract. That was the system I put in place. I made a contract with myself that four nights a week, Monday through Thursday, after I got home from work, did my run, had dinner, and was having my cup of coffee for the evening, I would work for at least an hour on that business plan. And that finally got that business plan done. And I actually knocked it out in just a couple of weeks, just working an hour a night. And there were a lot of nights that I would go, oh, I'm really on to something here. I'm going to work for a little longer. So when you're, when you're trying to achieve a goal, once you've got your well-written goals, you've got to build those tools and systems that are going to keep you focused on what you're going to do. For me, that was the, I'm going to dedicate an hour a day. For you, it might be a whole different set of things. But you've got to figure out what works for you. And if something's not working, if you've tried a tool or a system for a little while, for a couple of weeks and it's not working, don't be afraid to reevaluate. Maybe throw that out and try a new tool or system that's going to help you get to your goals. Tip number three is you've got to track your goals. Everyone talks about this. Everyone hears about it. We all know we need to do it. But it's one of the things that often doesn't get done. And tracking your goals doesn't need to be elaborate. It just needs to be appropriate for what you're trying to do. So rather than get into a whole long talking to you and speculating on what you could do to track your goals, I'm going to show you what I'm doing for tracking my goals this year. One of my goals this year is to expand my social media audience. So I built a little spreadsheet to do that. So I'm going to go over to the computer right here and I'm going to show you what I've been doing and what I've been working on over the last few months to track that goal. So like I said, one of my goals this year was to expand my social media audience so that I could reach more of you guys and hopefully help out more people. So 
what I've done here is I built a spreadsheet that tracks a whole bunch of different things. I'm, I'm tracking quite a few things. I'm tra tracking things on different platforms, and I won't go through all these numbers because that's really not important. Um, but what's important is I'm tracking the number of subscribers on my email list. I'm tracking some of my YouTube statistics. What I'm going to show you here, just because it's fresh in my mind because I, I did this one this morning, is uh, what I'm tracking on LinkedIn. And so what I'm tracking on LinkedIn, because I found some data, uh, some analytics on LinkedIn, and that's, that's one of the things you want to do. You want to make it easy to do this. You want to make it easy to do this tracking. So if you can find this data out there already, like if in this case of social media, this is already on the social media platforms. I'm just bringing it together to kind of create a snapshot so I can look at it all at once and see how I'm doing. I'm not going out and really doing research and collecting data and doing all that kind of thing. Your goal may require you to do that, but if you can find the data somewhere, go ahead and get that data and pull it in and then do some, some of your own analysis and draw your own conclusions from it. But you don't need to reinvent the wheel if someone's already collecting the data out there. Now the thing I will say is if you're using other people's data, very rarely is there a one-to-one -one correlation between the data that's collected out there and the question you're trying to answer or the goal you're trying to achieve. So you may have to pull in different sources of data and you may have to do some analysis and make some assumptions on what it all means. But try to make your data collection easy when you're tracking your goals. And if you have to go collect your own data, again, build a tool and system and try to make that easy, whether it's writing things down in your journal, building a spreadsheet where you're tracking some, you know, some, if you're, how many push-ups you're doing every day or something like that. But try to make this as easy as possible and so that you don't have to be spending a lot of your time working in the spreadsheet or whatever it is. So looking at what I'm doing with LinkedIn, I found three, three analytic pieces of data on my company page that I thought were pretty useful. And I was able to go back and they had this data going back for six months. So that was helpful to me because I started some of the rest of these back at the beginning of the year. And so having that data going back six months, I'm actually able now to go populate this all the way back to the beginning of the year and see how I did year, year, year long, even though I wasn't actually tracking this until just really this morning. So I'm looking at uh, a desired monthly impressions growth of 10%, a desired monthly engagement growth of 10%, and a desired monthly follower growth of 5%. So those are my goals. Those are clear, they're measurable, and they're achievable, right? So in what I've done, uh, rather than look at a bunch of numbers, and you can if you want, but that's not really what we're after. So what I've done is I've created a projected line. Uh, I've created a graph that uh, follows the projected, uh, so starting where I started at the beginning of the year, or December of last year, and growing 10% a month, this gray line shows if I grew at just that 10% a month where my followers would be. The yellow line, and you see how that tracks that in the beginning of the first month, takes the actual of what the last month was and then actually multiplies by that, that by 10%. And you see, as far as it came to LinkedIn reach, I actually was exceeding that 10% that goal by a lot for the first few months. Like I said, you're welcome to have this spreadsheet. I'll put a link so you can download it. But again, this doesn't need to be complicated. It doesn't need to be time consuming. You want to try to make this as easy as possible for you when you're tracking your goals. And what you want, and that's why graphs are great, because if you just plug in the data, maybe once a month, that's what I do with this, is I go in and at the end of every month, I plug in my social media data from all my different platform analytics. I go plug it in and I can look really well. So how am I doing? Um, let me look for an example uh, in here. Yeah, so here is an example on my Facebook reach every month, and I use a metric that's easy to pull down there, so it's not exactly the whole month. But on my Facebook reach, what, I, what you see is my actual was below the goal for April, but it's still well above that projection if it had just grown by, I think it's 15% I was trying to grow reach on Facebook every month. So you can see I'm still well exceeding my, what my goal for the year would have been projected, but I'm not, you know, I'm not doing as well as I could. And what's, what's going to be interesting about all this is I'm going to reevaluate this. Probably after June, I'm going to reevaluate this. And you see I've got some kind of broken formulas here um, in the spreadsheet that will uh, tell me what my growth rate was um, over each part of the year. Um, but at the end of the year, that will really tell me when all this is populated, this will tell me what my average monthly growth was and if my goal was realistic or not, or maybe I shot too high. So that brings us to tip number four, assess and adjust. You saw all the things I'm doing, all the things I'm tracking, and like I said, it looks complicated, but it's really not. I've tried to make it as easy as possible for myself and for you to follow in this video, 
So assess and adjust. Like I said, at the end of the year, what I'll do is I'll assess was 10% monthly growth for LinkedIn, for my LinkedIn reach, my LinkedIn uh, engagement, and 5% uh, growth in my followers. Was that a realistic goal? Did I achieve that goal? Well, maybe that based on what I'm doing right now to try to grow my audience, the actions I'm taking to grow my audience, maybe that goal was too high. And those are the things I'm doing. I'm assessing monthly and I'll assess at the end of the year. What changes do I need to make if I want to make that 10% growth goal every month? So that's the, next, that's the final tip I have for you is assess, assess and adjust. And that doesn't mean adjust your goal. It means adjust, you know, maybe you do need to adjust your goal. Maybe that goal was way too lofty, right? And that's okay, but what it really means is adjust your actions. And that can be a little bit of an iterative process. Take some new actions. Try to, in my case, try to do a little more posting, post to a few more groups so I can get more reach and more followers on my LinkedIn. Depending on what your goals are, it might be, you know, take some different actions or up the level of intensity on your actions. So assess and adjust, not just your goals. Not, don't, don't go changing your goals. Adjust your actions and the steps you're taking to get there. So there are your four tips for following through on your goals and being able to smash right through them so you can get on to even bigger and better goals later on. Remember, it's important to make sure that your goals are well written, that clear, measurable, and achievable. Have a plan, build tools and systems that help you follow through on those goals. Try to make your life easy. Try to set yourself up for success. Don't just leave it to chance that you'll be able to make your goals or not. And then track them so that you can see if the tools and systems you've built are working and once you've tracking them, after you've been doing that for a little bit of time, and I don't think I mentioned this in the tracking part, don't look at this stuff every day. <laughs> look at it on a regular interval, and that's important, but don't look at it every day because it'll make you crazy. It's like looking at your stock market portfolio every day, right? It's going to drive you nuts watching what's going on. So track it. Don't look at it every day, but track it. And then as you start to see the trends in what's happening, assess and adjust. Was your goal too lofty? Maybe, maybe not. What actions can you take? What adjustments can you make in the things that you do in order to achieve those goals and maybe meet those numbers if you're not? And maybe you're putting too much effort into one area. As you saw, there's sometimes you're, you're blowing a goal out of the water and another one is, is coming in low. Maybe you just need to adjust where you're putting your efforts instead of making radical changes to your goals or your life plan. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and share it with a friend or coworker. Click on that link below. Actually, there's two links below this week. You can get that goal tracking spreadsheet and use that as much as you want. Put in your own goals there. You're welcome to have that. And we've also got the link to our free leadership development plan workbook. And again, one, that'll help you set your goals for the next two, five, and 10 years for your career. And now you've got the workbook and you'll have a, you'll have a spreadsheet that'll help you track those goals. All you've got to do is just kind of change some of the words and plug in some of the numbers for your goals. If you have any business or leadership questions, give us a comment here. We'd love to hear from you. Or email us at info at evilgeniusleadership.com. Evilgeniusleadership.com is also where you can find out about our coaching and training programs. So if you want to work with us in a little more one-on-one -on -one capacity, get a little help with your leadership style and your leadership skills, contact us there, and we'll set you up with a free consultation. Thanks for watching today. I really appreciate it. And remember, the future is out there. Lead the way.